In this illustration, we will discuss about a body ascending and descending on incline. We are given that the body is launched up an inclined plane with inclination alpha to horizontal. It is observed that the time of ascent is a half of the time of descent along a length of incline. And we are required to find the coefficient of friction between body and incline. Here in this situation, if we draw the incline, say it is of length L and the inclination angle is alpha. So, here we can see when body is placed on incline, it will experience a downward force due to gravity that is mg sin alpha. As mg cos alpha is balanced by the normal reaction acting on the body due to incline. So, this mg cos alpha and mg is in downward direction. We are familiar with these two components of the weight of body. Here we can see when the body goes up, then in ascent part its friction will be in downward direction and when it comes down the friction will act in upward direction. So, here we can write while ascending when it is going up the friction will act in downward direction and this mg sin alpha and friction which is mu and mu mg cos alpha both will oppose its motion. So, we can write while ascending the acceleration of body is, its acceleration can be written as E1 and this is the total force divided by its mass. So, it will be G sin alpha plus mu G cos alpha. We consider mu is the coefficient of friction between body and incline. So, this is our equation 1 and we can similarly write while descending the acceleration of body is, when it comes down the friction will act in opposite direction and the force due to which the body is sliding is mg sin alpha minus mu mg cos alpha. So, here it is acceleration because when it is going up and ascending this would be retardation. So, here the value of acceleration we can write as E2 which is g sin alpha minus mu g cos alpha, see this is our second equation. And we are given that time of ascent is half of the time of descent. And for an incline of length L, we can always write the time to cover a length L. If either initial speed is 0 or final speed is 0, it can be written as root 2 L by A. So, time of ascent we can write root 2 L by A1, which is equals to half of time of descent is root 2 L by A2. Here we are taking acceleration A1 and A2 from equations 1 and 2 for ascending and descending cases. So, further simplifying this or squaring the terms here, you can see 2 L gets cancelled out and we can write A1 is equals to 4 times A2. If we substitute the values of A1 and A2, C. Here it is g sin alpha plus mu g cos alpha is equals to and this can be written as 4 times this a2, this 4 g sin alpha minus 4 mu g cos alpha. So, if we further simplify it over here, you can see this will give us 5 mu g cos alpha is equals to 3 g sin alpha. And here you can see g gets cancelled out and simplifying we are getting the value of mu is 3 by 5 sin alpha by cos alpha we can write as 10 alpha and this is the final result of this problem.